Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I am in a little bit wet and damp Italy, a place called Cervea or Cervea, however you want to pronounce it. Um, yeah, as I said, it's just been raining this morning, so I haven't quite got out of my pre-race bike check yet. Um, hopefully the sun comes out later and I can get out on the ride. Um, I just wanted to talk through my bike spec. I've changed a few little things recently. Um, and for those that haven't uh, seen the bike before, I'll sort of run through what I've got and what I've done to it. Um, so starting with the frame, it's a Felt IA, the 2022 version, um, advanced. Uh, it comes with uh, TRP, disc brakes, um, front and back. I run 140 rotors on both. Um, the brake on that's pretty good. Uh, I've changed the base bar for a Pro Evo missile, I believe it is. Um, just a little bit of an upgrade. And I guess I've sort of skipped forward, but I'll, I'll stay with the front end as I'm here now. Uh, I've got uh, drag to zero uh, extension plates, uh, risers, and then prototype uh, bars. I've got a kind of a homemade from my mechanic uh, bottle mount with a Gorilla X Lab bottle. And then I've got the Project 76 bottle, uh, not bottle, Project 76 uh, Garmin mount with a 5.30 Garmin at the front. Um, this whole bike runs Altegra Di2, not the old, not the newest version, the one that's just come out, the 12 speed, but the 11 speed with synchro shifting, but I'm running a one by system, which I'll talk about now. I'm gonna switch sides. <laughs> um, so other things on the bike, we'll go, um, yeah, we'll go straight to the group set. So I'm running the Altegra Di2 11 speed. Um, I've changed the front ring for a uh, 58 one by, which is a drag to zero chain ring. Um, I run the chain catcher holder, but without the chain catcher, just because it's a little bit more aero than having a little metal bit sticking out. Um, and then it also means I don't have to take the Di2 cable out if I want to switch it back to two by. Um, I'm running a 11-28 cassette at the back and I've got a YBN uh, rainbow waxed chain um, again just cut I think to the right length <laughs> so yeah that's that's kind of the the front uh, the group set I'm running uh, Garmin power pedals the Vector 3s I believe they are um, and then I'm getting to the worst now. <laughs> um, before I get to the worst, um, I've got uh, the Secret Saddle Club, the Stride, or I can't pronounce the German make, Piz Mized, or something like that. Um, so I've got the Secret Saddle, the Stride, um, with the Synchros uh, bottle holder, which doesn't come with the saddle, but you can order it and it bolts straight into the saddle. Um, I've then got, um, I'm definitely missing something. Yeah, I guess other bottle holders. I've got an X Lab bottle at the front, X Lab bottle at the back, um, and then the Aero Chrono um, for like the Aero bottle. Um, and then also in the race, I'm going to use a Camelback down the front of the jersey just because it's such a long race and I want to carry out my own race nutrition. Um, finally, wheels. So I've got the Envy disc, um, and then on the front I've got a unbranded tri spoke. Um, both of them are running tubeless. Both of them have got GP five thousand TTs, but then they're special edition Tour de France ones um, from last year, so they're left over. Um, I'll probably run the front wheel at about 88, 87 psi, and the back wheel about eighty two. Um, depending on as long as it's going to be dry. I might drop that down if it's going to be a little bit wet. Um, but yeah, other than that, I think that's pretty much my bike spec. Um, I had the felt I had before. This was actually a replacement frame that felt managed, uh, gave me because I had a, a crack in my carbon fiber. Um, but yeah, I love the car on this, in this bike and it goes pretty well in a, in a straight line up hills and stuff. So yeah, hopefully it'll uh, do me well on race day tomorrow. Um...
Yeah, I think that's it. <laughs>